When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Rejoice, for you are now listening to the real deal FB in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? It's your boy Teron Beckham. We here right now with another video. And to start out this video, I'm here to let you guys know I am going to hold that staff, lead you to victory when it comes to these chess games because I'm going crazy right now. I'm going crazy right now. And if you're trying to go crazy, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel right here that you're watching me move my lips as I look right at you through this camera. I lost it, but either way, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and hit this gym. I am getting ready, about to eat some breakfast. Starving like crazy right now. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take something to help that hunger. If, are, are you guys curious to know what I'm about to take? No, let me let me just go ahead and show you. I got this special milk. Um, some somebody green. You know, it's it's his milk. He let me borrow it actually. Um, but I just kind of want to let you guys know, Hulk milk. Yeah, my buddy, my buddy Hulk boy, uh, he let me borrow some of his milk. Take that how you want it. But, uh, yeah, you know, so we're going to take uh, two scoops of this, about 50 grams of protein, to start the day correctly. And guess what? We got other products for you. We got the Hulk milk, and we got the Hulk juice, ladies and gentlemen. You know what you can do? Use code AFTERMATH because your boy is a part of Alpha Line. If you did not know, yes, I am a part of Alpha Line. Just signed with them like a week ago. Yo, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not huge. I'm not a huge protein person, but everything has been fire. Especially, I, I knew it because I'm a big pre-workout person. Like, I need just like crazy. I just need a good pre-workout. You know what I'm saying? And now, since I don't have anything to hold me back as far as like, you know, before when I was with brands, I was very careful with who I was signing with, um, you know, because if it's like a really hardcore kind of fitness brand, um, I didn't want to fall in the lines of certain ingredients not being, um, I, I didn't want to fall in the lines of certain ingredients not falling along with whatever sport that I was doing. Um, now, since I'm not doing anything, I have the freedom to go Honestly, almost as extreme as possible. I'm not going to be with like people like pro hormones and stuff like that. But I thought this brand was super great combination of very extreme, like pre-workout strong ingredients while also not having anything like crazy where I need to worry about it being banned or anything, even though I'm not doing like sports or something. Um, but this is kind of like a good solid balance for me. And this brand is super dope. Um, they have a a lot of big influencers on the brand and I have now been welcomed onto the team. So, Alpha Lion, you already know, use code AFTERMATH. Now, we are on the Hulk Juice Supreme. Sometimes they drop the Extreme. We are about to drop the Extreme Burn. Now, the Extreme Burn is literally, I took a scoop the other day for from uh, the sample test we did. Yo. If you like to sweat, if you like to sweat during your workouts, you, you got to grab the extreme burn, bro. Because that, yo, ass wet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was sweating like crazy, yo. Every time I sat down on something, like, I had ass prints on it. Like, because like, the, the benches and stuff are black. You just see a whole 
whatever, you know, like them paintings or them, uh, them drawings they make you do, they'd be like, what is this? What do you see? And you're like, the first thing, that's what that's what uh, it looked like every time I sat down. Uh, like I said, man, go ahead and grab it. We have some glucose pills, so every time you take carbs, you wanna take these, or every time you eat, you wanna take these, help you with fat loss and uh, loading your glycogen, which is the S7 pump performance. So you guys have been seeing my lifts, my, my, video, my videos, my photos lately. It is because of this and this that I've been looking hella pumped. I'm talking jacked. This is the nitrosigen, nitrosigen. Um, this one, I feel a bit more of a pump. There's already S7 in the pre-workout, but I'm actually gonna try, today I'm gonna probably try to just take the S7 instead of this, just to see if I can find the difference. And then we have the muscle strength and size pills right here that I'm taking. So this is my trial period with this. Um, this is the first time me taking this product. I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh yeah, take this product. No, this is my first time trying this product. I'm only two days in, so I'll let you guys know. Uh, but it's supposed to help with muscle performance size. Um, you know, and I think that it's like a post-workout. You take along with it for creatine. Speaking of creatine, for the longest time, I've only been taking barely a gram of creatine for the longest time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm supposed to, especially with my body weight, I'm supposed to take three to five grams of creatine per day. That's the main difference that I've been doing right now. Three to five grams of creatine per day, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've been feeling stupid strong. I, only, only creatine Alphaline has is in the post. They don't have a, like a, they don't have an off just creatine product. They need one. We'll talk about that. But there is five grams in the post exercise. I mean, in the post, um, there's a post superhuman product that they have that has exactly five grams of creatine in it. So, um, if you want to take it post, you can grab that. I'm not saying you need to. I've been taking, I had took a off-brand creatine. So, so yeah, but uh, now I'm going to be switching over to that for, for taking my creatine post. Even though it's been proven to take creatine pre-workout. So, yeah, it works better to take it pre versus post. I do not recommend using milk and using a blender. If you're gonna use a blender, make sure it's in a smoothie because I use this product. I have like a smart blender or whatever. It's super strong. Um, I use this product and I used it with milk and I put it in a blender and it came out like too thick and foamy. So honestly, just grabbing some water, shaking it up and drinking it straight off, off rip like this has been, it's been the best results um, with this protein. People still like, I Man, you already know what it is. Code Aftermath for Alpha Leap. I don't like to do this, but uh, dun, 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 I need a girlfriend, I need a front, right? But, do what you do, baby boo, uh, come through, me and you. Getting sturdy is not for niggas that weigh 240 pounds. Pump pills right now. Taking the pre. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I got to do like a bootleg kind of um, setup for you guys. But I think you'll enjoy it. This is like my my setup for when I do um, my Twitch streams. Um, there's no live chat. So that being said, we are going to go over my bench routine. It's a simple chest day strength routine. Um, you guys are going to be like, yo, Teron, that's it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Now, starting off, we got our rotations, our floor rotations. You guys seen this in the video with me and uh, Christian Guzman. Uh, that was the last video. Definitely check that video out. It's a lot of jewels, a lot of talking, a lot of air balls. Um, so definitely check that video out. But anyways, we are just on the floor. You're doing your uh, rotations. And then what we're going to do is have those that same arm placement. We're going to uh, um, bring the weight 
up just bring those elbows up think about forcing those elbows up in the air and um the weight you're having to keep your um arms straight from the rotation that the weight's going to try to pull on your shoulders so this has there's so much activation with these it fires everything up from my traps my rear delts rhomboids like everything back there and you start you start to feel it, it feels really good um and then we have the, the band pull apart and now we are at bench so uh real quick let me pause this real quick one thing i want to say when when we going back to this right here i like the, i think I, i'm starting to you know I, I'm, I'm liking this idea because i can go back and just kind of talk about something but how we how i do this is this first one um hold on let's go back these right here you're going to do 10 each arm and then you go up we're going to do just the lift ups once again 10 each arm and then right here well 10 10 all together and then another 10 you want to extend all the way out come up like the second one and then extend all the way out now when you're extending you want to reach all the way out we need to open everything up so we don't we don't want to short it we want to actually reach and push out when we're doing this you'll feel the whole back just like starting to stretch when you when it comes to strength in all aspects of training the stretch you want that full stretch in a safe manner um, to get the best benefits out of your lifts and then you start your contractions but anyways when you know same thing with these about 10 to 20 uh, band pull apart or 10 10 band pull aparts and then 10 uh dislocations with the bands and this has been my warm-up for bench for the last few weeks now i took on uh chris's actually um i took on his like i almost say 50 reps each time but i took on his like 30 to 50 rep um just just bar just straight bar just to pump it out because after i did that i was feeling really good so this is something new i'm not going to say this is something that i've been doing this is new ever since um the video with christian guzman uh that i had been doing and we, we just kind of work up to our our normal um high repetition and one thing you'll notice in these bench presses is that i have been stopping about a fist length away from the chest I'm, I'm i haven't been touching my chest at all unless it's my top set my top bench um i have not been touching my chest and i feel a lot more development i can look in the mirror and i see a lot more development um with my chest i feel more of a pump uh with my chest um when doing this and i, I just feel like I'm, I'm my chest is being worked a lot more because if you think about it let's stop right here before i hit this um this is 500 pounds um if you think about it when you're you know training chest when you're doing you're stopping right there before the chest you're controlling the weight and you're not able to really use that reflex as much as you have when you touch the chest because when you're when you touch the chest that band is like fully just just spread out you know and you, you can get like that little band effect a bit more when you touch that chest now i'm having to stop here boom come down i'm having to control the weight and actually put um put force into it a lot sooner to stop the weight from touching my chest which honestly i feel like there's a bit more strength benefit in this uh it's like a dead stop a pause pretty much pause reps um which are is, is something that i was like man I, ever since i've been doing this i've been feeling a lot more sturdier in my bench and even slowing some reps down as i get heavier even though i could like just explode through it but just kind of working those those nicks nicks and cricks throughout a range of motion when you're doing something slow you start to shake your body's like you're like yo like go you know you can move this way but like you know like get this over with and the concept behind that is just like your body is not used to these small increments you know of, of, of these these movements throughout the range of motion especially with head when you want to go when you go heavier and you start going slow you're working every single you know meter little centimeters of of resistance through that range of motion and the best thing about that is you know once you start to you know develop that strength in those range of motions everything just becomes so much easier you're more stable in the entire movement you feel more powerful and ever since i've been doing these for the past few weeks um consistently it i'm telling you like as you see right now here here let me just boom you know now you've seen me bench 500 for multiple times you've seen me bench 500 pounds wait what what I, I hit that rep. If you saw my Instagram, I hit that rep. I don't know why um, it's not fully on there. 
but I've hit 500 multiple times. Every time that I've hit 500 in the past, it is, it's like a, oh, I'm feeling good today. You know, let me go for 500 pounds. No, every single bench session these past few weeks, you know, and I haven't, I haven't even showed you guys, um, uh, all the sessions like that. I've been able to hit 500, no doubt. Like I could go into the gym tomorrow. All right. You know, I feel like doing 500 pounds today. Like that's how it's been lately. That's where my strength is at right now. Not, not a pause rep, not a competition pause rep. We're still working on that. But even still, I've been confident and strong and felt so strong that I'm able to go in the gym and say, you know, 500 is my top set for the day. Um, and then the next up, which has been very beneficial is the Larson press, like no hip drive, no leg drive at all that I've been doing. I actually come down to um, 315 and then work for like two sets of eight and then work my way back up to my top set. As you see, 375 um, for sets of five, like four, four sets of five, I believe. And this right here, okay. So this right here has been the biggest like the greatest thing for me um i've had no shoulder issues no pains um i feel sturdy solid upper body just solid and i can proud i can for sure say the seal rose has been the most beneficial um lift for me when it comes to my bench press now i do my grip you can see right here i do my grip about the same grip that i would have on the bench press you know i'm, I'm more of a a close grip more tricep -y kind of bench um very a long range of motion but that's where i feel comfortable that's where i feel most powerful i've tried out here a little bit more it felt good for a minute and then it was just too much up here um but with this yo so i've been doing I'll probably do like seven, eight sets of this. I kid you not. I'll do three sets for volume, right? So I'll do like three sets, uh, 12 to 15. And then I'll do three sets of, um, for like five to six reps, um, with about half my body, half my bench, um, half my bench max. So my bench max, you know, I, I, I would base it off of 500, you know? So that means 250. 250 i would put 250 on the bar and i would do like three sets uh five to six reps um as you see easy at 250 what is this right now uh, this is only 235 right now so I, I okay so rewind i do what two sets um right before 50 percent, and then i go half and then um and yeah i think that's how i finish it three sets oh i'm trying to think i'm trying to think god damn it what, what what's been my rep scheme there's three sets of volume two sets before half weight and then another three sets uh, to finish off of my actual weight that i use which is the 250 um so yeah i mean this just training that upper back and actually and especially doing this right after my bench after i'm benching i go straight to seal rows every single time that's why i kind of have like my push pull days together and that's to be able to balance out um just that there's so much push there's so much weight in that push i need my body to balance itself out so i need to have a strong pull as well to counteract that and i honestly i've been mainly just doing when it's coming to like my bench um strength days i mainly just do the bench and do two pull exercises and a shoulder exercise and that's just kind of been the routine for the day and now i might come back i think i be i came back this day just to train back, I didn't train shoulders, you know, cause my shoulders, my, my, I mean, uh, I didn't train chest. Um, my shoulder, my chest volume days is separate. Um, I, if, if it's the volume day, I might go back like later, you know, if, and, and add some things with back, but I know on this day, exactly. I did not train chest again this day. Um, so it'll be like a, so I'll have weeks where it's three chest days and then weeks where it's two chest days. It's kind of like every other day-ish type of thing or every other like three days. So to, let's say like Monday, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I mean, uh, two, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, so that's what I mean by that. So it, some weeks will be three times a week and then some weeks will be uh, only two times a week. And it just kind of, that's how my chest, um, training has been going and then you know it'll be like a strength volume and maybe like a, a mixture of both with some explosive um stuff 
So that's been working out greatly for me. Um, this is just extra stuff on the side, lateral raises, just to throw some things in there. Um, did like five sets of uh, 12, 12 to 15 reps for lateral raises. I, my, my physique has changed tremendously. I feel like it. I don't look as soft as I used to. Um, I've been, you know, chugging down water with sea salt now, and I've because um, it says sea salt helps with hydration uh, to keep that water like in you um and stay hydrated and that's helped a lot and especially with me like going to the bathroom more peeing more um because i've always drunk a lot of water but i've always just like felt like the water was just going through me now if i'm starting to feel like saturated um and i'm just i've just been feeling good strong um so yeah but yeah again with the shoulders i've been hitting shoulders like three times a week too you know they're starting to cap out a bit traps still suck but you know we're working on it and then um i finished the session off with a uh, four four or five sets of pull-ups set to eight to ten reps um simple as that you know just to work those latching lats engage those lats more people say you don't really need pull-ups i feel like i just do because you know pull-ups show like all just i feel like pull-ups depending on your body weight is just like it just shows a great amount of strength for you know uh based off your body weight and what you're capable of to, to handle with with what you carry each day so um so yeah uh, but yeah i appreciate you guys for watching so far there's you know more to the video a, a bit so definitely stay tuned catch that alpha lead you already know code aftermath and also alpha line grab you some subs i promise you you will not regret it the pre-workout especially and the pump pills have been magnificent so grab you some and uh let's finish the video all right so we just finished up our workout now i'm headed upstairs at El Palin to chill, talk to the guys. I just ordered food, so I'm actually waiting on the food because food be taking like 20 to 30 minutes, mainly 30 minutes to finish. So, trail mix. Trail mix is my favorite thing in the world. Still a 3D. Look at all these 3Ds. All right, let's do henna. Yeah, yeah, let's grab that. Want some Takis, y'all? athletes lounge area where we can come up here work chill um have a drink yeah so we got the double patty burger from alpha eats with the sweet potato fries right here when i say i get this when i say i get this like every day i get this every day sometimes i get this with breakfast tacos just in case i miss breakfast and it's lunchtime already so I eat the burger first, and then I'll go to the breakfast tacos after. Because the breakfast tacos taste better. Like, let's say I'm full. The breakfast tacos taste better later on throughout the day. Heat up versus trying to heat up a burger. So, But yeah, every day for the last two or three weeks, I've had uh, this burger. I kid you not. Man, I feel like I should be like a movie producer or something. Like, or like some, some terror type movie shit. Because it's just like, I'll be thinking... How my brain be working? Just like, I'm walking. You're like I'm just walking. The sun's beautiful. The sky's beautiful. It's a good weather. It's like a good temperature. It's not too hot, you know. And I'm just walking. I'm like, man, it's a good day. Imagine something fucked up just happened right now. Imagine this old lady right here acting like she, you know, old hurt. And I just like look over and I look down and I look back over. She just start just going off on everybody. Because it's crazy, bro. Because the world, like, right now, shit like that is possible. Like, the shit you, you just think is just fucked up in the movies? No. This be real life shit right now. The world is crazy right now. It's always been crazy. The world has always been crazy, but we're, we seem more accessible to seeing a lot more. We're taking in more than we should be visually seeing. There's a lot of stuff we just should not be seeing which is messing up the sensitivity we have to certain things and now our expectations are a lot different when we step outside you know what I'm saying like there's possibilities we're more alert now like like I, I know that I'm getting older but it's like I'm more alert when I every time I step out the house now I can't just be at a gas station like who's at the gas station all right one two who's there what they look like how they moving you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like super alert all the time. You know what I'm saying? 
And I ain't even, I don't even got ops or nothing. It's just random people. Because every time you step out the house, you are trusting these random people to act right, bro. Which is crazy. Alphaly got some serious drip coming, man. Serious drip, teddy bear couples type drip. You know what I'm saying? You take, 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 get your girl to crop top. You can wear these. Let me see. Let me throw these on. You can wear these right here. Chill, nice. Walk out. Ooh, still got the tag on. Chill, comfortable. This is XL. I wear XLs. 240, six feet. Um, 33 inch waist. XL pants. XL in the hoodie as well. Like, I could go large. But I just like how loose this one is. It's a little bit more chiller, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I be rocking this heavy fall back in New York on the real. We in Houston right now, so it's a little. It'll be chilly sometimes at night, but during the day, like nah. So I actually, I actually really like this green. Damn, I would actually wear this too. Just green with this hoodie. I mean, with this uh tank. Oh, but I really like this green. This green go hard, bro. With some white shoes. Ooh, wee, 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 wee. Not for a talk though. So, and uh, we have, so the black and this green is my two favorite. And then we have a vanilla and then a evergreen, dark green as well. The evergreen really come out. Really come out nice, especially if you brown skin. So, but yeah, this one my favorite though. It's green. I'm looking greeny. I'm looking like money. Now, real talk. Appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, um, something special, and catch you guys later.